Okay, so do you know what to do to solve this equation for x? Well, hopefully you do, and if you do not, just stick with me for a couple minutes, and you're going to learn a lot about solving these types of equations in algebra. This is really important stuff, but uh, the equation that we're going to be uh, dealing with in this particular video is 6 to the x plus 2 power, and that is equal to 12. Again, we have 6 to the x plus 2 power equal to 12, and the objective here is to solve for x. And feel free to use a calculator to help you out here. But uh, if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer here in just one second, and then we're going to go through the solution to this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so again, you will need a calculator to get an actual answer. And what I'm looking for here is what uh, x is equal to as a decimal approximation. Let's go ahead and take a look at the answer right now. So x is approximately equal to negative 0.613. Okay, so how'd you do? Well, if you got this right, that is fantastic. Matter of fact, let's celebrate by a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and multiple stars so you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional in solving basic exponential equations. They won't even know what that means, but you know, it just sounds pretty cool. So you should just tell them anyways, who knows, maybe they'll even take you out to lunch. Okay, so nice job, but uh, for those of you that got this correct, but if you, you're like totally lost here, like I don't even know what's going on. Well, don't despair, this is not that difficult. And this is something uh, all of you out there that are taking any kind of math course, let's say at the Algebra 2, College Algebra, certainly pre-calculus um, level, this stuff you're absolutely going to need to know. So if you're not at that level, it's uh, a good chance that you have not yet uh, uh, learned this topic, okay, or haven't learned this particular chapter or unit in mathematics. No big deal. Uh, let me go ahead and introduce to you what exactly we are talking about here. Okay, so what kind of equation are we dealing with? Well, in algebra, we have all different types of equations. So here, obviously, we have a variable. We're trying to solve for the variable x, and it's an equation. We have the equal sign. So again, in algebra, we have all different sorts of equations. So in the world of algebra, you're like, okay, well, if I see an, equal, uh, an equation, what do I do? Well, you know, we have linear equations. You do one thing if you have a linear equation. We have quadratic equations. That's completely different than solving linear equations. You have systems of equations. You have, uh, I can just go on and on here. We have radical equations. We have rational equations. Uh, and, and we have something called exponential equations and logarithmic equations. And right now, what we're dealing with in this particular problem happens to be something called an exponential equation. Now, why is that? Well, because the, uh, the variable we're solving for x is in the exponent location of this power. Okay, let's just kind of do a quick review. So if I have 2 to the third power, this 3 up here is the exponent. This 2 down here is the base, right? The entire thing, what the entire uh, thing here, 2 to the third power. This is the power, but this part of the power is the exponent. So if I have an unknown value, so here I have 2 to the third. If I had 2 to the x and I'm looking for what x is equal to, well, I'm trying to solve an exponential equation. Okay, so the first thing in algebra when you are looking at an equation, you have to stop and say, hmm, what type of equation is this? And again, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, by going through what I just told you, we can say, oh, this is an exponential equation. Okay, great. What does that mean? Well, it means we need to 
do what we have to do to solve an exponential equation. And effectively, there is a, uh, you know, a procedure, if you will, or procedure or sets of tools that you can use to solve these type of equations. Of course, I'm going to explain to you what those are. But let's take a look at this problem from kind of a common sense standpoint. Okay. So here we have 6 to the x plus 2, some power, right? This is some unknown value. So 6 to some unknown value is equal to 12, right? So we're going to take 6 and we're going to take it to some power, and that's going to be equal to 12. So we're looking for what is this power, okay? Now, of course, this power is bundled up in this uh, variable expression, x plus 2. But let's just kind of think about this uh, in a real basic way. So if we have 6 to the first power, okay, that's 6. And 6 to the second power is 6 times 6. That's 36, right? So 6 to what power is going to give us 12, right? Well, if you could see here, if we go from uh, 6 squared, uh, 6 to the second power, that's 36. We're trying to get 12 here, right? Well, uh, our power, whatever it is, has to be less than 2, okay? So, but now, does it have to be more than one? Well, six to the first is only six. We want to get to 12. So this entire power up here is going to be one point something. Okay, who knows what it's going to be? Maybe 1.3 the entire power. Okay, but we're not solving for this entire power. What we have is just this x. Okay, so this x, whatever this uh, we're trying to solve for, plus two has to be kind of somewhere in this neck of the woods, 1.3. So the only way we can kind of get to this, this right here has to be some sort of negative value, right? So if it was negative one, negative one plus two is a positive one. So it's gonna have to be a negative value less than one, okay? So it's a good idea for you to kind of at least uh, take a look at an equation if you can, and just kind of use some common sense. Think through what you kind of anticipate the uh, value or kind of the solution, uh, you know, approximation of what you think it could be, okay? Because you, if you come up with some sort of crazy answer like x is equal to 10,000, all right, you should just kind of, you know, use some common sense, but that's impossible, right? So it's always a good idea, if possible, to scan the equation and try to estimate it, okay? Now, in this particular problem, you're definitely going to need your calculator, but now we have some sort of sense of what uh, value that we're looking for, right? A small negative value under one. And of course, that's what we got for our solution as X is approximately equal to negative 0.613. Okay, so now let's go ahead and actually get into the specific steps to solve this uh, exponential equation. But before we do, I want you to get into the specific steps of subscribing to my channel. You have no idea of the positive impact this has on the growth of my YouTube channel. So, um, uh, by the way, if you do subscribe, please hit that notification button. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much. It is my passion, my goal to teach all of you out there. Any, any person that looks at my videos, I look at or I take on the mental responsibility to, hey, this is my student. So I really do try to deliver my best uh, kind of value to you. Uh, on my channel, you'll find basic math to advanced math and I calculus and everything in between. If you're looking for my best math instruction, you'll find links to my most popular courses in the description. But uh, back to the problem. Okay, so again, we have to first kind of size up this equation and just to ask ourselves, what type of equation is this? All right, we've already talked about why this is an exponential equation. Okay, so when we're faced with an exponential equation, we're going to use logarithms to solve, okay? So if you see an exponential equation, just know that you're going to be using logarithms to solve most exponential equations. There are times where you don't have to use logarithms because you can do the problem without the aid of a calculator, but most, the majority of exponential equations you're going to be dealing with are going to require the use of logarithms. So you're going to be using that LOG button on your calculator or the LN button. All right, so this is a big topic. I certainly can't explain all of this to you in this one uh, video, but uh, we're just kind of getting big picture here, right? Exponential equation, going to use, uh, be using logarithms. Now, if you have a logarithmic equation, okay, the reverse of this, you're going to be using exponents to solve, okay? And the, uh, the reason for that is because exponential and logarithmic functions 
are inverse functions of one another. All right, so this is a huge topic in more advanced algebra. But, uh, you know, again, I just want you to kind of drill this into your long-term memory. Oh, exponential equation, need to use logarithms. Okay, so again, we're going to need to use our, uh, uh, be using our calculators, and we're going to be using that LOG button. And now let's go ahead and get into the actual steps of what to do. Okay, so uh, right uh, here, the way this equation is set up, uh, we basically have this power isolated uh, to the left-hand side, and we have a number on the right-hand side. This is really important. Uh, just big picture, if I had 2 to the x plus 1 is equal to 8, okay? Right, uh, the way this equation is right here, I'm not ready yet to take the logarithm of both sides. That's going to be our first step. We're going to be taking the logarithm of both, side, uh, both sides uh, because here we don't have the power uh, part of this isolated. So we would want to subtract 1 from both sides of the equation. We have 2x is equal to 7. So when you have the power, a power all by itself and a number all by itself, at this point, and of course, we don't have to do any work in this equation, but uh, most other uh, exponential equations, you have to cl uh, clean them up to get to this stage. But once you're at this stage, what we need to do is take the logarithm of both sides. Okay, so again, this is a very big topic, and you're going to want to do a lot of different types of problems. So we're going to take the LOG of both sides, and you can see that's what I'm doing right here. All right, now before we uh, take a look at the next step, I want you to realize that the logarithm let's, of a number, like LOG of 12, this is a decimal value. If you have your calculator handy, you could just uh, type that in, uh, put 12 in, hit the log button or log 12, and you'll see that this is just some sort of decimal. Okay, so you want to you know, train your brain to be like, okay, this is now a number, and this is, uh, is an expression. And to take the next step, we're going to have to know a particular property of logarithms. This is very, very important, and there are some critical properties that you must know when you're dealing with uh, logarithms. And one of the properties that you need to understand is when we take the logarithm of a power, let me show you it in a little bit simpler way. If I have 2 to the x and I take the logarithm of this, okay, log to the 2x, that's equal to this little x up here. I could drop it down in front of the, uh, the log. So it could be equal to x log 2. Okay, this is a critical property of logarithms. So when you have a logarithm of a power, this exponent can drop in front of the log. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing here. We're going to be taking this part right here, and we're going to plop it right in front of this logarithm uh, log 6. Okay, just like so. Right, and now this is how we're going to get to um, the solution for x. All right, so we have x plus 2, uh, all this in parentheses, right, because we're just bringing this whole group down here, times log 6 is equal to log 12. Now remember, log 6 now, this is just a decimal value. I can get a number, and I can get a number for this, and, and uh, this is you know basic algebra. But we don't want to use our calculator just yet. Hold off on that. Uh, you want to use your calculator at the end of uh, the, at the end of the problem, you'll see what I'm gonna um, talk. You'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. So at this point, I'm thinking to myself, all right, you know what? The easiest thing to do here is divide both sides of the equation by this log six. Okay, again, this just is a uh, um, a value. Now you could distribute, get this, and distribute it in, but you could also just divide both sides. That's uh, that's the easier way to go. So now I have x plus two is equal to log twelve divided by log six. All right, so to solve for x, it's super easy, right? All I have to do is subtract 2 from both sides of this equation. And what I have here is x is equal to log 12 divided by log 6 minus 2. Okay, so now in your calculator, you can go ahead and actually plug this in, log 12 uh, divided by log 6, get that um, uh, value and subtract 2. And if you did this correctly, you'll get x is approximately equal to negative 0 0.613. There's some other, decimal, does, uh, other decimals there. So we're just going to round off. But this is the solution. And this makes sense because, remember, kind of going back up here to the beginning of the problem where we're kind of just, you know, asking ourselves, you know, what, what should be a, a, a value that would, uh, you know, a range uh, that we should be looking for in our final solution, right? 
Now, some of you, when you first start learning this, you may not be thinking in these terms, but through practice, okay, as you get better in solving equations, you always kind of want to try to anticipate values that make sense in this particular value uh, for our final equation, negative uh, 0.613 makes perfect sense. So we end up doing the problem with a nice, lovely, happy face. Okay, so uh, for those of you that uh, need to kind of master this level of mathematics, again, this is typical Algebra 2, college algebra. Uh, there's a, you know tons of different uh, math courses out there that uh, you have to learn uh, logarithmic and exponential functions. But uh, I have a, a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel that can help you out. But if you want my best formal instruction on this, check out my Algebra 2 and or pre-calculus courses. I'll leave the links to those in the description of this video. But uh, with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.